So when you're cutting your elderflower off the bushes, wherever it is that you're getting them from, you need to, each time you get a little flower, you need to almost like shake it like this, just to make sure that you're getting any bugs out. Before you want to start using them, you need to clean them and then also take off, remove any part of stem, like basically this part of the stem here needs to be sort of removed. So I'm just gonna go do that quickly now and then once all the stems and everything are removed, I'll show you what the next stage is. So I finished with my elderflower heads. Now this recipe actually calls for 30 heads, but we had quite a few more, so I've got about 45. So the rest of the recipe, I'm just gonna do like times one and a half. So it asks for 900 grams of sugar. So I actually need 1,350. And for that, I've already got some sugar, like a kilo of sugar in a bag. And I just need to measure out 300, no, yeah, 350 into this bowl. And then it also says three lemons and two oranges. But from my mum's previous experience, sometimes she finds that the recipes are a bit too citrusy, like a bit too lemony. So instead I'm just going to use two lemons and then instead of two oranges, I'm just gonna use a bit of lime. I think I'm gonna just use one lime, just to add a bit of like extra pizzazz. I now have my 2.5 liters of boiling water. And I'm going to add in the sugar and stir it in until it's fully dissolved. So I've now finished stirring in the sugar. I've just got it on a low heat. And the next thing I need to do is add in the elderflower um, heads. As you can see, quite a lot of elderflower. I'm also very worried it's a bit too much to be honest, but I guess we'll find out. Now the recipe says to then next peel the lemons and, well it's oranges but I'm using lime, um, juice to one of each and then cut the rest up and put them in. It says to leave between, for, for between 24 and 48 hours. I think I'm probably going to give it, try and give it maybe in between, like maybe let's say 36 hours. And then I'm going to put the lid on so it's covered and I'm going to leave that now for 36 hours. So the cordial has now been brewing for just over 36 hours. And this is kind of what it looks like inside. So this is the pot. We're gonna do two types of sieving. So we've done through the sieving. We've got two bowls worth of stuff now. Now for some reason, I don't know if this is obviously not muslin, but it's something that my mom has used before for juices. So we've strained it all out, put it back into the pot. Now it's ready to be sort of bottled or whatever. I used a uh, recipe that didn't use citric acid just because first of all, we didn't have any and also we just kind of like ours to be more like natural. Um, so we're going to bottle some and then we're also going to freeze some. Now, usually I would use an ice cube tray, but we've realized ours has holes in. So I'm going to be using a sort of ice cube bag like this. I know it's probably not very sustainable, sue me, but that is what it is. So again, with my mum's help. And there we have it, some lovely heart, what will soon be ice cubes. Next, we've got some bottles um, that we're just gonna sort of put in the fridge and use over the next week or so. Also like a little mini one that I'm gonna to gift to my grandmother. Keep it in. We've also sterilized the bottles already. So everything 
is raring to go. So there you have it, my bottled elderflower cordial, which needs to be drunk definitely in the next week. Again, as I said, this is going to my grandmother tomorrow. This is probably for us, well, my mother, this next few days. And then we'll put that in the fridge and try and consume that by next week. And just to finish off this video, I'm obviously going to have to try some. So I've got myself a glass. I'm going to take some of this. I do find, tend to find that homemade cordial tends to be a lot, well, a lot sweeter, but are not as sort of strong in elderflower flavour as some, you know, the ones that you buy. So I am putting in quite a bit more than I usually would if I was to buy sort of shop-bought cordial. And I've just put some tap water in it. And there we have it. Literally, this is like the perfect summer drink. If I could just have like elderflower and lime and everything, I would. So I've also got something really exciting coming up the next two or three weeks, also with some elderflowers that I handpicked myself, obviously with my mum's help. Um, so look out for that. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video um, and I'll see you next time.